Hi everyone, welcome to Slide Tech's second mint tutorial video. We all know that looking for misplaced items is a common occurrence for everyone, but those extra five minutes spent looking for your phone and keys and wallet could easily be avoided with our latest technology, Mint. Mint has been on the market for about a year now, and during that time, useful suggestions, constructive criticism, along with general use data have been collected and taken into account for the complete revision of the Mint. Slytech is proud to introduce the Mint App 3.0 and the Mint New Edition. The new app now works with more smartphones and devices. So in addition to iOS, Mac, and Android devices, the Mint now works on Windows computers. So the user can now conduct remote control activities with the Mint connected to their Windows apps. We've also listened to our users' advice in making the interface a lot more intuitive when managing your personal items. So the Mint app 3.0 now has all of your Mint devices in a quick access list. Um, we've also made it a lot easier for the user to navigate from the home interface page to any part of the app in less than three steps. The GPS, the GPS map along with the auxiliary functions are now centered at the home page. We've also included an in-app FAQ and a customer service a customer service chat support uh, system, which allows users to um, leave text messages or voice messages 24-7. Managing your items just got a little bit more easier. So for the Mint new edition, it's increased the Mint's alarm, ed uh, alarm audibility along with its battery, e battery efficiency and just its general use quality. We've also revamped um, manufacturing line to ensure that the carefully crafted device is delivered to your hand in mint condition. So in this video, I'll be discussing the Mint App 3.0 installation and setup. So let's get started on that. If you haven't done so already, download the Mint App onto your phone. You can do this by either scanning the barcode included in your packaging, this one right here, or you can find the app on slighttech.com. You can also find it on the App Store and Google Play. When you open the app for the first time, You'll be asked to enable four different functions, which include Bluetooth, location service, notifications, and background app refresh. To ensure maximum functionality of the app, it'd be best to enable all of the functions. Next, you will need to create an account and register your email, username, and password. After your account is registered, you need to pair your Mint. Select the icon on the top right corner to add your Mint device. Make sure your Bluetooth is on and the blue plastic sheet is removed from your Mint device to ensure a successful connection. Select the Mint device icon that pops up onto your screen. You'll then have to, you'll then have to wait about 60 seconds and then click the Mint button on your device to ensure a successful connection. Once the Mint is activated, you'll be asked to select a control mode for the remote feature. So I think I'm going to choose photo. You'll then be asked which item your, de your device will be tracking. So in this case, my keys. And if you receive this firmware update, unless you have um, if you have a Windows um, phone, then you can update your firmware. Your firmware, but if you do not have a Windows phone, then just you can just ignore the notification. And at the bottom corner, you can right here choose to not have this notification pop up anymore. Now that your Mint account and device are active, it's time to explain the app. The home interface makes it makes it really simple for you to simply switch between the list and map functions. I'll start off by explaining the list option. We made it so all of your Mint devices would be accessible and listed in one area. So if you had more than one Mint device here, then they would all show up in this one page. If you click on one of the Mint icons, you'll be taken to that device's settings. So in this case, let's click on the device for my keys. And on this page, you'll autom automatically be given an update of the proximity of the item being tracked. So right here, it says that my keys are near to me. 
and um, you'll also be you'll also be given an update on the battery life percentage of the device. So it's this around the circle right here. So as you can see right now, I'm at 93%. So let's start off by clicking on the drop down menu next to the name of the item your device is tracking. So this little arrow right here. This will reveal a menu that allows you to rename the item and even add a photo of the item you're tracking. So you can have access to your camera. And that's that. Or you can upload straight from your um, gallery. Now let's exit out of this. And let's click on the drop down menu on the right corner, the three dots. And here you'll be given the options to update your firmware, disconnect the device, and remove it. So let's get out of that. Okay. And within the device settings, you can switch back between the remote and tracker option. So here, we're on remote right now, but let's go head over to tracker really quickly. As you likely know, the Mint is more than just a tracker. It can just be used as a remote to take photos, control music on your phone, and presentation slides on your computer. When you're in the tab for the remote function, you can customize its settings. Here, you'll be able to change its control features. So let's click on settings down here. So as you can see, I preset my remote to um, function as a control activity for my camera. You can either choose music, shutter, presentation slides, or you can even add a custom feature of your own. So you just simply slide through here. This is for music, presentation slides, or you can add your own feature that, you, that you'd like. So as you can see, there are already preset operational features such as the single click or the single click signals a play or pause of the song and a double click skips to the next song. However, you can edit these features, these operations on your own. So just click on the operation. So let's click on the single click. And then you select the function and now you're gonna select the desired feature. So it's for music. And then you decide if you want a single click to like uh, skip to the next song or if you wanted to just play or pause the music so you can edit those features right here. Now let's select the icon for the tracker. So if you choose the settings options down at the, below, at the bottom of the page, you'll be shown a page where you can customize the tracker features as well. So you can change how long the phone and mint's alarm sound for. So they range from three seconds to 30 seconds, and that's the same exact thing for the mint alarm. Now the third function is the sensitivity. Um, so the sensitivity is how long it takes for you to lose connection with your belongings before mint sends you a warning. So of course, the higher the sensitivity, the sooner you get a notification. And the convenient thing about this page is you can easily switch between devices using the slide menu up, up top. So right now I'm at the uh, features page for my keys, but I can easily switch to the device that's tracking my wallet, my purse, my car, anything else. So it's very easily accessible. So let's exit out of this page and head back to the home interface. Now let's select the map icon at the bottom. So this page is to let you accurately locate your items and each one of your activated device will show up on this map. So if you have more than one device, will be shown the location of each device will be shown on the map right there. So if you click on the icon on the bottom left corner right here, you can further zoom into the location. So it's pretty straightforward. So if you'd like to add a new device, let's click on the top left corner up here. And then you'll just be asked to repeat the same process that you did at the very beginning. So next, I want to explain the app settings. So let's click on the icon up here. We've made it very quick and convenient for you to be able to purchase more Mint devices along with batteries. If you select Buy Mint or Battery option, right here. 
a pop-up menu will appear. So you'll be you'll just be asked to choose which item you'd like to purchase. So either a mint or a battery, and then you'll be redirected to the Slight Tech website to continue the purchase. So quick side note, um, you can also purchase batteries from Duracell, they'll, they'll also work with the mint devices. Um, they're actually guaranteed to last a little bit longer than ours. So there's that. So the account settings page also allows you to control the safe zones. So this right here, you can add a new safe zone. You can just type in the Wi-Fi and the location. So when the alarm, the mint alarm is usually disabled in a safe zone. Um, the safe zones are predetermined places, usually such as your office and your home space, where mint will be silenced as soon as you automatically connect to the location's Wi-Fi. So in other words, as long as you are connected to a certain Wi-Fi and mint is within that Wi-Fi's range, your tracker will not sound the alarm. And then once you leave the safe zone and lose connection with the Wi-Fi, you are no longer to be considered in that safe zone and your tracker will sound if an item is left behind. So if you ever have questions regarding the mint, you can find a list of some of our most commonly asked questions on the FAQ section. So this area right here. So for example, if you're more curious about how mint works, there's a fully conducted um, answer for that. Very concise answer. And if you want to know more about how the GPS community works, we also have a answer section for that. But if for some reason you can't find the question that you're looking for, we also have a um, customer ch chat support service. So this is one of our newer features. So if you click that button, you'll be directed to a page where you can text or record a message and representatives are all, always standing by to answer any problems you might have. So that's everything there is to need to know about the Mint App 3.0. I hope this video has been extremely helpful and now you can enjoy the features of your very trusted Mint. We wanted to release the updates just in time for the holiday season, so if you're looking for the perfect stocking stuffer, definitely keep our tracker in mind. You can easily give your loved ones a peace of mind and joy at heart with our mint. Thank you for watching.